Welcome to the Pen and uh, Paper Hive. I am uh, your host, o Wolf, and I am a game master since 2001. Today's topic is, of course, how to create memorable NPCs and what is a memorable NPC? I mean, uh, basically, a memorable NPC is an NPC that is, well, well remembered. Uh, not only well remembered, but either uh, very liked by the players or very hated by the players, like an evil guy that uh, appears. And this guy hasn't to be the big bad evil one. No, absolutely not. But uh, there are a couple important steps to create something uh, memorable uh, because, uh, yes, the rules apply basically to every NPC, but the most NPCs just get uh, a smaller version of uh, what a memorable NPC gets. Uh, a random tavern keeper will not get stats or whatever. You just say, okay, he is probably a plus two on something. Uh, go for it while your uh, memorable NPC you have created has many more stats and features. But the first thing for every NPC is of course their name. And you can basically create a memorable NPC with nothing but the name. How? Let's give our NPC the name Wolfgang Hickelhub. Wolfgang Hickelhub is never seen by the players but always encountered. Players wanted in one town to buy that last sword they need for their warrior because his sword broke uh, or lost the sword and they come and the dismiss is saying, oh, you're an hour too late. I sold my last sword I made. Uh, this guy got it. Uh, he said he's Wolfgang Hickelup and is on his way to drink a pint of beer somewhere in a town. Uh, I didn't listen to him, but I'm sorry, no sword here. And your players are like, well, okay, let's head to the next town. And they head to the next town and they had a fight in between. And they need for themselves like, oh, we need a healing potions. And they go to the next city and they go into the alchemist shop. And the alchemist says, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Hickelhub was here. 20 minutes ago and bought my last three healing potions I had. I'm sorry, I'm all out. Maybe I have some new next week. And again, they know his name and begin to remember him like, oh my, this guy had bought the last sword. sword. Uh, now he bought the last uh, three healing potions. What's next? And you create a memory and a story just with a name. You never describe this guy, you never have him interact with the players except buying stuff that they need. You can only do that so much because at some point your players uh, would be very annoyed and then you have to flesh him out. Like Players are so annoyed because he always buys uh, away their stuff and they want to find him. Okay, now you have to flesh him out because what race is he? Uh, what goals do he have? Uh, These are the next two points. The race isn't so important. You can make basically a human and be done. Humans are everywhere. Or you can make him a kobold or whatever. It doesn't really matter what he is as a race. But also, uh, you give him a goal. What is he about to achieve or what do he want to achieve? because every NPC has a goal. Um, the bakery guy probably goes every day to the mill and buys flour. The farmer goes to the mill and sells flour. The guy on the street coming from far away wants to probably have a pint of beer in the tavern or want to sleep for a couple hours. These are all viable goals and you have to give your memorable NPC a little bit of a bigger goal. Something that makes them appear or him or her appear a bit more often and they don't have to appear so often but only every now and then but you create the memory 
have in heaven have them a go like uh, he wants to buy a good sword healing potions uh, figure out um, who killed his father and his father was for him a good guy but the players killed him in an adventure where he was practically the lord of darkness and now the npc has his goal like buy suitable equipment to fight uh, the guy that killed his father and uh, figure out who killed him and that's why he goes from store to store buy swords armor healing potions so he has a goal a name a race a goal if you plan to have him uh, within an encounter be it a social encounter or be it a combat encounter you have to stat him out um, no matter if you're playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition or Pathfinder 1 or Dungeons and Dragons, whatever, um, you create the stats at the time on a level, for me, basically one or two levels higher than the uh, players are um, to give him some form of a power level that the players can reach or overcome. Uh, and make him basically a boss fight at the time, but make him someone that can be easily uh, defeated, be it social, uh, social like or in combat, when the players grow in power. Because I don't make NPCs grow in power when they're not strictly an adventure. But now we have the name, we have a goal, we have uh, him appearing every now and then, buying the things that the player want to buy uh, and make him slowly figure out that the players are behind his father's death. He wants to avenge his father or make uh, have a revenge fight. Um, the last thing for me, what you need is a description of that NPC. Uh, basically not really what he is wearing, but more what are his knickknacks. Uh, does he speak with a stutter in his voice? Does he have a twitching eye when he talks? Or does he uh, brow movement all the time? Uh, things you can do as a game master as well on the table or on video calls when you play online. Uh, that's a something you uh, do as well. And then uh, give him a voice. If you're a voice actor or doing voices, give him uh, a specific voice no one else has. Uh, mostly all my NPCs are talking with my regular voice. Uh, sometimes I, I pitch it a little bit uh, up and down, but mostly I describe how the NPC talks. And for memorable NPCs, I give them a voice. Uh, like uh, one of my NPC has a high pitched, very annoying voice. Um, uh, the kobolds, they have my players uh, working for them, uh, have a very cute, uh, lower pitched uh, or not so high pitched voice, but are very cute and uh, from his voice. And that's what I do. You don't have to, but make him have something the players can remember without knowing his name or remembering his name. Uh, if this guy always wears an orange shoulder pad, uh, which no one else does, he is probably be very easily identifiable. Uh, identifiable by your players when they see him like you describe oh there is this guy wearing big chunky armor a giant sword on his back and on his left shoulder is an orange uh, shoulder patch and immediately your players oh this can be uh, Wolfgang Hickelhub and so you create the memorable NPC the, the NPC players always uh, remember, be it good or be it bad. Uh, if he's a bad guy, they probably will hate him and do everything to overcome him. Uh, if you if you, they like them, they are uh, happy when you encounter them again with him. And that's uh, basically how I do it. Give him a name. Give him uh, 
a goal for a memorable NPC, it's always a little bit of a bigger goal than normal NPCs have. A pint of beer is for uh, um, player is for a NPC that's living in a city, but figuring out who their uh, who killed their father and buying the stuff necessary to have viable combat abilities is a bigger goal for an NPC of that case. Give him stats. Give him. Give him a, a third. Give him a, a description. What he talks like. What he sounds like. Uh, what he does, movement, or uh, even special clothing, armor, or, or uh, symbolics, or something like that. And the last thing, the very last thing, is to stat him out, give him stats. Well, that, that's about it. That's how you create memorable embassies. You don't always have to, to stat them or make them evil or whatever. Uh, sometimes a memorable NPC can be someone who is always uh, on the side of the players, sharpening their blades when they take a rest, and they start to talk with them. Like, oh, how come that you are joining us? I mean, yeah, we hired you, but you could have left us in every city. You didn't have to go with us down a dungeon. Why do, do you do that? And then he says something like, oh, yeah, you know, I like you and the work is honest, it's easy. And you always have fantastic stories when you came, came, uh, come back uh, to, uh, to the camp. It's amazing. And I want to have something to tell my children uh, when I'm older. And so they grow an attachment naturally. Um, which is fantastic and players will like uh, this NPC which basically had not even probably a name at the beginning. Uh, he was probably just the guy that sharpened swords. Memorable NPCs can um, be created on the spot by the players. If the players have a particular tavern they like to go to, um, they probably know the tavern keeper and will start questions when he is not there. Like, oh, where, where's Hans? Hans is not here. Oh, yes, Hans is gone. <laughs> I am here now. I am Carl. And they start uh, to ask questions. Where's Hans? Where did he go? Why are you here now? We don't like you. <laughs> and so on. It can be on the spot, but it starts always with a name and some stories. That's it. I hope you get some inspiration out of it. If you have more questions about uh, how to create memorable NPCs, just throw them down in the comments. I will read and answer them. Uh, if you encountered some really memorable NPCs in your games, uh, tell me about it. I'm very, very uh, anxious. No, <laughs> I want to know it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And if you're a GM yourself and you have created some memorable NPCs, let me know. I really love to know those things and learn myself how you approach things too. Because you will always learn something new and I will learn always something new. So have a great time and until the next video, I wish you the best. and. Have a plus one on your next roll.